Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, May 22nd. Welcome to your last day of full lessons. You guys should be so very, very, very proud. You have made it, I think it's like nine weeks now, where we have been doing distance learning and every day we've been practicing our sounds and our syllables and our reading and our math and our writing. And you guys have just persevered and just amazed me. So thank you so much for working so hard. Today is our last day of a of, of full lesson. When you check back in on, on Tuesday and Wednesday next week, we're gonna be having some fun things for you guys to do for your last two days. And Wednesday's the last day, guys. So um, we're going to get started with our sounds today. Please work as hard as you can today. Show that grit that I know you have and finish off strong, guys, okay? So um, to, yesterday was, or Wednesday was game day. Yesterday was reading day. Today is America Day. So uh, if you're wearing red, white, and blue, that's kind of fancy. Uh, just so you guys know, on Tuesday, it's dance day. And then E is enjoy your summer. That's our last day of school. Um, I've gotten 25 points so far. I'm going to see how many more points I can get today for Friday. So yesterday, uh, my family and I practiced doing the long jump. We jumped um, as far as we can go. The longest jump was six feet. And that was by Norm. And then um, we did some jumping jacks. And the last one we did yesterday was, oh, we were throwing the Frisbee. So uh, that was kind of fun. So I have 25 points. See if you can beat me um, this week. So here we go with our last sound practice for the school year. Here we go. Ready? Say the sounds. I know I can't hear you, but I'm trusting you that you're doing these. So EI is going to say that A sound like uh, in vain. Bull, ow, er, tull, ow, and o, tur, spur, i, z, t, r, gull, f, and z, x, ow, er, Burr, tur, whoop, aw, x, oi, j, remember that g e g i g y, make the j sound, the j sound, ing, ink, ong, oi, ch, a, okay. Oh, this is kind of weird. They are missing their sounds. What does the TH say by itself? Th or th and then er. But those, we can't, we, they're not tied together. Let's tie them together. Ready? Ooh, that ER at the end is going to be its separate syllable because it's at the end, like in teacher and brother. So we're going to keep this as two syllable words. So ready? Here's our first syllable. Th unk, thunk, er, er, thunk, er. Is thunker a word? No. Okay, we have that er at the end again, so it's going to be a two-syllable word. Here we go. Th I, thigh, er, thire. Is that a word? No. Let's try th, th, I, thy, er, thire. Still not a word. Okay, so now we go, we don't have that bossy r at the end, so now it can become one-syllable word. Here we go. Th ein, thine. Not a word. Th on, thon, not a word. Th og, thog, not a word. Th ig, thig, not a word. Oh, does anyone remember when L E, um, consonant L E, that's a separate syllable, so it's going to be a two syllable word. If this is a two syllable word, this I is now going to be open and it's going to say its name. Ready? Th I, thigle, thigle. It's definitely not a word. Oop, see it? Consonant L E, that is its own consonant, so it's going to be uh, open syllable again and it's going to be a two syllable word. Ready? Here we go. Th I, thigle, thigle. Not a word. End. Thinned. Not a word. For. End. Friend. 
not a word. For and, friend, not a word. Squ and, squand, not a word. C and, canned. Oh, you can can something like in a tin can, but it's different spelling. Oh, anyone remember what does C-E say together? Yep, that's going to say that S sound. C-E-C-I-C-Y. -C it's going to say the S sound. S end. Send. Oh, send is a word, but guess what? It has an S. Okay, fantastic job, guys. So let's look at our syllables for today. Okay, what's the first step? Find my vowels. I see an I and an E. Okay, so now I want to find my consonants. There we go. Oh, do you guys see a C, E next to each other? That's going to say that S sound. Don't forget when we say it. Okay, I see two consonants, so we're going to do what? We're going to divide them. Okay, let's go ahead and tap it. Per, in, prin. Remember, C, E is going to say the S sound. Cess. Princess. What's this word? Princess. Awesome. And this I is going to be closed, and so is this E. So they're going to say the short sound. Okay, let's find our vowels. We have a vowel here, and we have a vowel I. And then we have our consonant in the middle. What do we usually do? We usually break it after the first vowel. That's what we're going to try first. This U is then open because there's nothing after it. So it's going to say its name. This vowel, this I, is going to be closed because it's closed in between two consonants. So let's go ahead and try this. Mu, mu, z, ik, zik, music. Music is a two syllable word. Okay, so today for our word wall, we have should, warm, today, world, years. What I want you guys to do is as you guys are going through second grade and even in the summer, if you come across those red words, I want you to remember how you tap out the words. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice that today. So we have, I'm going to try to get into the camera, guys, so I apologize if I can't. Remember, red words, you always tap out each letter. You never say the sounds. Okay, so we're going to do warm first. We're going to do it three times. Ready? W A R M warm. W A R M warm. W A R M warm. Okay, today. T O D A Y. Today. T O D A Y. Today. T O D A Y. Today. World. Ready? W O R L D. World. W O R L D world w o r l d world okay last one is years like you are seven years old y e a r s years w y e a r s years y e a r s years okay so then today i want you guys to see if you can write a silly sentence and see if you can fit all five word well words in it. Okay, so I got to think about this. Um, let's see. Today, the world said I should be 100 years old. Let's see how many words I was able to use. I used the word today. I use the word world, I use the word should, and I use the word years. Oh man, I didn't get to use the word warm. See if you guys can be better um, at the silly sentences than I can. Um, I'm excited to see some of your silly sentences. Okay, so today is our last decodable story. Remember, decodable stories are stories that have sounds that we already know how to read. They usually have a pattern to them, and um, we we are able to read them with ease. Okay, so we're gonna be looking for a couple things. This story, we're gonna highlight three two-syllable words that begin with a, with a closed syllable. So we know what a closed syllable is, is because that vowel is gonna say the short sound. Uh, over here, we're gonna look for two-syllable words that have the open syllable, so it's gonna make the um, long vowel sound, okay? Um, so we're gonna read the story first on both pages, and then we'll go back and do um, our are annotating. Ready? In winter, please get your reading finger ready and help me read. 
We saw geese fly over us. The group flew in a V shape. They traveled to locate food and a warm place for the winter. Should moose leave too? Their world is frozen solid. So bark is their major food. Today, we can stay warm in our cabin. We sip hot soup with spoons. We put on boots and coats. It feels like years until spring. Okay, so let's go back and we need to highlight and look for um, three two syllable words that have a closed syllable. Closed syllable means my syllable is gonna be short. Ready? So when you hear one, you tell me to stop. In winter. Oh, we found one already. Winter has the I sound inside winter. Here we go. We saw geese fly over us. The group flew in a V shape. They travel, ah, 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 tra, travel. That's that, ah, that, see how it's closed? It makes the ass sound? To locate food and a warm place for the winter. Oh, I only see two. I see winter and travel. Do you guys see another one? Oh, because locate is an open syllable. Hmm. Maybe they were talking about this other winter. Okay. Well, I'm just going to highlight those two. Here we go. Find circle two two-syllable words that begin with an open syllable. Should moose leave two? Their world is frozen solid. Oh, frozen. See how it makes the O sound? So bark is their major foods. Major. There we go. And you know what I see over here? I see another one. So maybe they meant for us to put it over here because solid makes the ah sound. Okay, this one was, we're going to circle three words that have the same vowel sound as moon. And it just makes the long U sound. It doesn't have to be the O-O. -O. So the first one they found was soup. It makes the O sound. Today we stay warm in our cabin. We sit hot soup with spoons. Oh, spoons, moon. We put on boots and coats. Oh, there's our other one. There's boot. Okay. So today for our last go noodle, I picked my favorite. I know we've done this a couple times, guys, but it is just my favorite go noodle. So I cannot wait to do this last one with you. So you ready? Get it up. Hi, I'm Henry. Get ready to pop to be go pop. Don't worry about getting the moves right. Just let loose and have fun.
it. Nice job, guys. I hope you had as much fun doing that as I did. Fantastic. Okay, so our last COVID-19 journal entry for today is Friday when I stayed home. The hardest thing was, well, there were lots of hard things, but also a lot of good things. So today's date is 5-22-20. So while I stayed home at home, the hardest thing was that I couldn't go see my mom and dad. All I wanted to do was give them a big hug. And you guys are home with your mom or your dad, but my mom and dad live somewhere different. And so I had to keep separated from them because they're a little bit older. And so I couldn't go hug them. And that was really hard. Another thing that was hard was I was away from all my amazing first graders. I missed hearing them laugh and telling me funny stories. So those are the hardest things for me um, when we stayed home during the COVID-19 time. So that would be mine. Okay, so for math today, our last thing is we're going to play just um, – a game together. It's going to be kind of hard for you guys to play it with me, but I'm just going to have you um, yell at the computer and tell me what you think. So we're going to be playing time to the time to the half hour. Match up the clocks that show the same time. So let's go ahead and do our o'clock times first. Now remember, the little hand is going to be pointing to the number, and then if the hand goes straight up, it's o'clock. So. You tell me when I get to the clock that says 11 o'clock. Yep, that's 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Okay, let's see if there's any other o'clocks. 30, 30, 30. Nope. Okay, so now I have to look at what, when the hand goes past, so I'm looking at the little hand, goes past the number, and then the uh, big hand's pointing down, so this would be 30, okay? So right now I see it's gone past the six, and it's uh, pointing to 30. Remember, it goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, you guys tell me when I get to the right clock. Oh, it's right there. 6.30. Okay. You guys tell me when I get to 8.30. Okay, so this is going to be, goes just goes past the 8, and it's pointing down to the 30. It's kind of tricky, guys. So you guys tell me when I get there. Yep. 8.30. Okay, so we know this one's 1.30, but let's go ahead and talk about it. See how it's gone just past the 1, and it's pointing uh, straight down? That's 1.30. 1.30. You matched them all. Ooh, we are a master. You are a master. Help Tutu turn rain clouds into rainbows. Find the clock that matches the time you hear. 9.30. Hey, you guys tell me when to stop. Remember, it's going to go past the 9 and it's going to be pointing straight down. Tell me if you see it. Oh, I see 9 it. 9.30. Just like Find the comes. clock that matches the time you hear. 5.30. Okay, it's going to go past the 5 and it's going to be pointing straight down. You guys tell me. Oh, I almost missed it. 5.30. Find the clock that matches the time you hear. 9 o'clock. 
Okay, o'clock is going to be pointing straight up, and it's going to be pointing to the 9. Oh, there it is. 9 o'clock. Find the clock that matches the time you hear. 1 o'clock. Just tell me when you see it. Remember, o'clock is going to be pointing straight up, and the little hand, the hour hand, is going to be pointing to the 1. I almost missed it. One o'clock. Find the clock that matches the time you hear. 8.30. Okay, so it's going to be pointing straight down, halfway between the 8 and the 9. Oh, there it is. 8.30. That's a lot of rainbows.